Atrial flutter is a macro re-entrant dysrhythmia characterized by rapid flutter waves with a sawtooth appearance. The ectopic atrial depolarizations are called flutter waves. They are not P waves. These flutter waves are usually best visualized in the inferior leads, in which they have a V shape. In this case, the flutter waves are best visualized in V1, where they are positive deflections. The absence of an isoelectric line between the atrial flutter waves results in a sawtooth appearance. The flutter rate is typically between 250 and 350 per minute. This can be measured by dividing 60 by the time interval between the peaks or troughs of the flutter waves. Alternatively, divide 1500 by the number of small boxes between them. In this case, the flutter rate is about 375 per minute. Although the flutter rate can be very rapid, typically only a portion of impulses are conducted to the ventricles. Physiologic conduction delay at the AV node usually limits the AV conduction ratio to between 2 to 1 and 4 to 1. If the AV conduction ratio is constant, then the rhythm will be regular. Otherwise, the RR intervals will be unequal. In this case, the conduction is variable, alternating between 3 to 1 and 4 to 1 meaning every third or fourth flutter wave conducts to the ventricles. Before we go on to look at more examples, let's quickly summarize the most important findings. Atrial flutter classically results in a sawtooth pattern, and conduction delay at the AV node typically results in a degree of AV block. Here's another example of atrial flutter with a 4-1 AV conduction ratio. Every fourth flutter wave results in a QRS complex. Since the conduction ratio is constant, the RR intervals are equal and the rhythm is regular. Here's an example of atrial flutter with variable AV conduction ratios of 2 to 1 and 3 to 1. The AV conduction ratio in this case of atrial flutter is 2 to 1. Every other flutter wave conducts to the ventricles. Here we have a case of atrial flutter with 1 to 1 AV conduction. Not only is the ventricular rate extremely rapid, but the F waves are distorted by the QRS complexes. Is this atrial flutter? It sure looks like it at first glance but this is really a case of coarse atrial fibrillation, which can mimic atrial flutter. Note how there isn't any regularity or pattern to the ventricular depolarizations whatsoever. I hope you found this lecture to be helpful and worth your time. Please feel free and very welcome to leave a comment or suggestion below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this channel.